In this video, I will show you how to use the clipping and tiling functions in VersaWorks 6. Clipping can be a useful tool in looking to crop out part of the image or point of interest in which you look to print. Tiling, or panel as it is called, is a great tool for separating a large image into sections for printing, and it's great to make installation a little easier. To demonstrate these features, I will walk through two different scenarios to show you how these work. Starting off with the clipping feature, I will go ahead and open up this umbrella poster, rotate it right side up, and then jump to the clip and tile feature under job settings. Now from this panel, there are a number of different options, but to get started, I'm going to go ahead and just pull on our bounding box to the area in which we look to highlight. Now once this is done, everything in gray will be disregarded when it comes time for print, and everything within this bounding box will be our new printed target. To demonstrate how this works, we can jump back up to the Layout tab. We can now see that our image is clipped accordingly. Now this is a great feature when we're just looking to save space or remove excess information out of the graphic, or to simply trim out white space that was maybe left in from a design file. Click OK, and now we can jump to our tiling or paneling demonstration. All right, so I have this graphic here. To get started, I will go ahead and scale this up to, say, 75. So suppose this was a very large graphic that we were going to wrap on, say, a wall, billboard, or even vehicle. We can bring it in and scale it accordingly, then jump back down to that Clip and Tiling tab. Now from here, we have a number of different clipping images, clipping options, rather. But I'm going to go ahead and jump to the number of tiles here. So depending on how large we want to make this, we can add multiple tiling sections, and it will essentially uh, flay this into three separate pieces. But in this case, I'll just leave it at two different sections. Another useful feature found under this tab is the overlap option. So with overlap set to top left or all corners, we can define an overlap within the pages. And this is a valu valuable feature because without turning this on, if we went to install these graphics, the edges of the media in the center here would simply butt up to each other. By allowing a little bit of overlap on each side, we're giving the seam uh, an area to connect to the graphic, and it really holds up better over time, and it makes for a better installation. Now that we have our graphic cropped and overlap set, it's also nice to point out that we can print these either both in one run. If we jump out to layout, we can see these will print, print back to back here. Or we can release one job at a time. Now, to hide visibility of a job, we can right-click on any given image here. When we go out to the Layout tab, it will treat this job as just that one visible image. Now, this is a good feature in the event that you want to monitor each panel as it's coming off the machine, which I tend to, uh, to side with uh, in typical large runs like this, just due to the time and media going into a project like this. So hopefully showing you the clipping and tiling features possible in Vers VersaWorks 6 will help you uh, in creating new graphics, cropping things, setting up accordingly, and maybe moving into some larger installations.